Once upon a time, in a village far, far away, there was a sly woman who didn't like to work at all. This woman had two daughters named Emily and Emma. Emma was a lazy and untalented girl. Emily, on the other hand, was a very hardworking and very talented girl. But their mother loved Emma more because she was younger, and she was still treating her like a baby. That's why she had Emily do all of the work. Emily, hurry up and finish the chores so you can go out and sell the cross stitches. Because of her mother and sister's laziness, only Emily went to the market in the afternoons and sold her handcrafted cross stitch. When she got home, her mother would only cook for Emma. Emily, on the other hand, tried to feel full by eating the leftovers from the meals. One day, Emily went outside to edge of the well to make a cross stitch. She started to embroider her cross stitch with the crochet hook in her hand. At that moment, suddenly a rooster mounted on her and began to crow. was so sad that she dropped her cross stitch into the well. Mother is going to be so upset if she finds out. What will I do now? Cockadoodle-doo! Use your brain and the bucket. Brain bucket, brain bucket, cockadoodle-doo! Emily, as the rooster said, reached for the bucket hanging in the well. She was about to take the bucket with her hand when she lost her balance for a moment and started to fall into the well. When Emily opened her eyes, she found herself in a garden covered with colorful flowers. What a beautiful place! Where am I anyway? When she walked for a while, a rabbit appeared in front of her. Ah. Mm. Could you help me, please? I can't get the carrot out! Ugh. Emily immediately went to help him and pulled the carrot that the rabbit wanted from the ground in one move. Thank you so much! Mm. As the rabbit happily walked away, Emily went her own way. Hey! Will you give me water, or I'll wither and rot? She saw a rose that was about to dry a little further ahead. Emily immediately came to the fountain to fulfill the rose's wish, took some water in her palm and poured it into the roots of the rose. The rose was revived and gave off a fragrant scent. Thank you so much! Now I'll be able to live a long, happy life! Emily continued on her way. After a while, she came across a house. In front of the house, a strange woman who looked like an evil witch was looking at her. Emily was so scared of this woman. She wanted to get away from there immediately. You don't have to be afraid, my child. Come, I have something to tell you. Emily went to the woman curiously. My name is Holly. Everyone loves me very much. If you take good care of my little house, you could stay here as long as you want. All I ask of you is to cover my bed with feathers every morning. I don't know how to get home anyway. I guess I can stay for a bit. <laughs> Emily took very good care of the house, as Mother Holly wanted. Every morning, without getting bored, she did not neglect to cover Mother Holly's bed with feathers. Mother Holly loved Emily very much. 
so she was preparing very good meals for her in the evenings. This is how the days went by. Although Emily was very happy here, she started to miss her real home. Mother Holly, you know I love you so much, but I want to go home now. Oh, Emily, I'm very happy that you worked here and stayed with me for so long. Of course you can go home now. I will accompany you on the way. Oh, thank you, Mother Holly. Mother Holly brought Emily to a big golden door. The moment Emily was walking through the store, she's covered in brand new clothes and gold. <laughs> a little gift for you for being so caring and working for me. Here's the crochet hook and cross stitch you dropped into the well. Please take it. Oh, thank you so much, Mother Holly. You're a good person. Later, Mother Holly covered Emily's eyes with her hands and asked her to count to three. One, two, three! When Emily opened her eyes, she found herself in front of her house. Emily's back! And she's a golden girl now! Seeing Emily, her mother and her sister Emma could not hide their surprise. Uh, uh, but how did you find such a beautiful dress? Emma, hush now! My dearest daughter, I was so worried about you. Why don't you tell me where you found all that jewelry? Emily explained everything one by one. At that moment, her mother thought that Emma could do the same. She greedily sent Emma to the edge of the well. Emma threw the cross stitch and crochet hook into the well. She jumped after them too. When she opened her eyes, she found herself in that mysterious garden where Emily had come from. She saw a rabbit after walking for a while. The rabbit asked Emma for help to get the carrot out of the ground. No way! I can't get my hands dirty for a silly little rabbit! <sighs> Emma walked away without helping the rabbit. Just ahead, she saw a rose that was about to dry up. Rose asked for her help. I can't give you water. You have all those thorns. They might hurt my hands. <laughs> Emma left without helping Rose. Finally, she came across Mother Holly's house. I heard you're in need of someone to work here. I'm more than happy to take the job. Mother Holly told Emma what she had to do at the house. Remember, every morning you will lay feathers on my bed. Emma agreed to everything. She worked well on the first day, laying the feathers neatly on the bed. But in the next few days, she started to avoid work. The house was getting dirty day by day, and Emma didn't care about the feathers on Mother Holly's bed. Mother Holly was furious when she saw that Emma wasn't working as promised. I think it's time for you to go home. Emma was overjoyed to hear this, because she wanted to reach gold jewelry and beautiful clothes as soon as possible. Yes, that's right! I get my prize and I get to go home! Mother Holly brought her to the Golden Gate. When Emma walked through the door, mud started to rain down on her instead of gold. Ah! What's going on? What's this? This door didn't rain gold on you because you didn't do things right. Now count to three and go back home. One, two, 
Then she found herself in the garden of her home. Seeing her, the rooster started to crow. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Emma's back and she's all muddy! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Her mother and sister Emily were shocked to see her in the mud. Emma told them that these muddy clothes were her reward for not doing the chores Mother Holly had given her properly. From that day on, Emma understood the importance of doing a job with love and got smarter and started to make cross-stitch just like her older sister, Emily. Thus, the two sisters lived a happy life by making and selling cross-stitch together. Adi se baba.